Okay, here we are. Surviving 600 days of hardcore Minecraft. I know you guys have been really wanting me to make a Minecraft video, and here it is. I have not really been enjoying Minecraft as much as I used to, but I have been getting back into it, so I am going to be starting to play it a lot more. And I grinded a lot of Minecraft the past few days just so I can get this video done for you guys. So hopefully it turns out great. So, without further ado, let's move on to day 401. So I started day 401 off with starting to get wood. And I'm not sure what I was building at the beginning of these days, I don't remember it. Because this took around a month and a half to go from day 400 to day 600 because, of course, I took a huge break. So, I'm not sure what I was going to build, but all I did this day was obviously get wood and just start gathering supplies for what I was trying to build. But day 402 wasn't really that interesting. I'm not sure what I was really doing this day. I got some obsidian. I think I was doing that to build a farm I was going to make. I'm assuming it was a farm because that's all I've been building these 400 to 600 days is a lot of farms because I want my world to be as efficient as possible. So all I did was get some obsidian and then towards the middle of that day I just started trading the villagers and that was about it. I remembered what I was building, it was an obsidian farm, like it was going to be where I AFK and turn on an auto clicker and it just farms the obsidian for me. Now, when I tried to actually use this, it didn't turn out so well, the obsidian was taking kind of forever, I think it was more of an AFK kind of farm, not really like a sit there and just mine obsidian as long as you want kind of farm, it was really disappointing, so I ended up just having to mine the obsidian myself. So I needed a lot of gold. Because I think I was going to make a gold beacon. I don't remember where I was making it. It might have been at my raid farm. I think it was because every time I went there, I always got like very low. And I just really wanted to have like resistance or strength. So the next few days, I just kind of sat at my gold farm. And that was about it. I AFK'd there for three days. I didn't like AFK. I kind of just sat there, looked at my screen. It was just kind of going back and forth to check how much gold I was getting. That's pretty much it for these next three days. On day 408, I was just spending this whole day getting a lot of sand. I think a whole sugar box full of sand. And the main reason is just because of glass. A lot of the builds I did within these 400, 600 days required a lot of glass. So that's why I got a lot of sand to, you know, get all of that glass. So I started to strip mine for a while. And I think the reason I was doing this was to get gold for the golden beacon. And I think I got a pretty good amount of gold. But that's really all I did for these next three days, was just try to find as much gold as I can. And then after these three days are over, I end up going back to my gold farm. On day 412, I was back to my gold farm, and I just kept going back and forth of mining into my gold farm because I was impatient and I didn't know how to wait. So yeah, this day I went to my gold farm, obviously just waited, and then the next day, day 413, I was back to mining again, and... It, it's it was just all over the place. I was just so impatient So the end of day 414 I was starting to build an auto item sorter for all of the ores so coal lapis diamonds gold iron and Whatever the other one is I forgot uh, It's just because I wanted one I didn't have an item sorter at this point So I wanted this to be my first one and it was just gonna be really helpful to just have an item sorter for just all the ores and stuff because whenever I'm done mining I can just go to here put all my ores in and that is that so I wouldn't have to keep going up and down to having to put my items away. So on day 415 I was able to finish my auto item sorter however it wasn't gonna auto sort items like right away because you have to get a stack of that certain item and I did not have a stack of all of the ores I needed to get so let's just move on to day 416 but at this point I really needed to have all my tools netherite so for 416 and 417 I spent these days getting as much netherite as I could find or netherite scraps I guess I should say and I did get enough for what I needed I don't remember how many I needed but I needed quite a lot probably around like 30 or so to turn all my tools in another day. That's all I did for these next two days was move on to day 418. It turns out that this day was a farming day. And later on, I end up turning my crops, a lot of them, into pumpkins and melons because I want to do trade a lot with my villagers because it was going to be a lot more profitable. And I just really disliked having to farm the whole time and it took a whole day 
and that it was just a whole day wasted on farming for literally no reason it is necessary so that's all i did for day 418. for day 419 i had to go to the end because my pickaxes were not like low but they were getting like to halfway and i really don't want my tools to get super low obviously because i don't want to break and there wasn't really much else i did because i i don't know i just didn't really have much on my mind because i wasn't sure what to do but then later on i did figure out exactly what i was going to do for these next like 180 ish days the next two days i was trying to find a god apple i think i don't know why else i would literally just be exploring randomly trying to find temples because temples mainly have god apples and i i don't know i just these next few days i was just exploring i really don't know the reason and it took me about a day to get home so on day 422 that's when I, I had to get back home because i didn't know the way to, to get back home because i don't know my sense of direction in there my sense of direction is awful but i did end up getting back home so i was going to extend my sugarcane farm so this took me about two days so day 423 424 I know this is getting a bit repetitive with me saying like more than one day so, so you know for like the next two or three days you know it's getting a little repetitive i understand that but i spend these next two days pretty much just making my sugarcane farm a little bit bigger because i need a lot of sugarcane well i don't need it anymore obviously but at the time, I did actually need a lot of sugar cane. So I wanted to have an auto item sorter for all the, the building blocks you get from mining. So, you know, like stone, granite, dorite, you get the point. So this day, I just started to make the auto item sorter for all of those. And it did actually take me a while because there was a lot going into it. And I'm very bad with, you know, just building stuff because I'm just not good at following a video for some reason. So it turns out it takes me the next three days for some odd reason to make this auto item sorter. I think it had to do with me being very slow with building it and I actually did run into a problem because I forgot to do a certain step for it so all the items were kind of going in the wrong areas but eventually I you know was able to finish it and I got it fixed. Day 429 was the beginning of making my nether hub. I didn't actually end up finishing this for a while but I started to make another hub and I'm not very good at making just my own builds you should have to go off other people's builds and this one was my own thought. I made this build my on my own and it turned out pretty okay but obviously it's not gonna look amazing because i'm not very good at building so these days will hopefully come to an end soon i don't remember when i got rid of all these crops but of course today is a farming day i think around like mid 400s or somewhere in the 500s is when i get rid of the crops i don't remember because you know i had like a month and a half to two months between recording this so it, it was obviously a pretty long time and i forget things very easily so i wanted to make a mega beacon with all the abilities because it would just be nice having all the abilities when i'm at my house so i spent day 431 and 432 just trying my best to get all the emeralds i needed and it took a while i did get them all though and i was kind of confused on how to make the beacon because it was like not even like lengths it, it was just really weird it was all over the place so i needed two more beacons and obviously i didn't have the nether stars for that so i went to go to my wither skeleton farm and this was very annoying this happened to me quite a lot during this where if any type of fire starts at the wither roses and the wool that is on top of the farm that makes it work they could all burn and it's just really annoying and that happened to me quite a lot so i had to spend three days fixing it because i did not have the materials to actually fix it myself so i had to farm sheep and i think i had the wither roses but obviously farming sheep takes a while but that's pretty much it and then right after i fixed it i was able to get enough wither heads and i killed two withers so i could fi finally finish my beacon all right it was time to start to make my nether hub it takes me seven days to make this because i wasn't sure how to make it as i said i'm not very good at building and i'm making my own idea but honestly, it turned out better than I thought. I didn't really have like a plan on what to actually build like when I was making it. I just kind of built whatever I thought looked cool. Turned out that I really, really liked it. And it was just, I don't know. It was just pretty good and that's about it. I don't know what else to say about the nether hub. There's only two words I gotta say. Farming day. Since I needed gold for the golden beacon I was making, I remembered that if you silk touch gold ore in the nether and then smelt it, it gives you an ingot instead of nuggets. 
So I just spent two days trying to get as many gold ores as I could and I was very successful at it and I think I did get enough for the gold beacon. I'm not sure but yeah. I needed a load of obsidian. I think like 11 stacks of it. I was going to make a gas farm be because I just I needed gunpowder. And my creeper farm was not very efficient because you need to AFK for that. And it just wasn't that good. And so I made a gas farm later on after I get all this obsidian. It takes me two days to get all this obsidian because, of course, I said I need 11 stacks. Even with haste, my god, it took a long time. So that's pretty much what I did for these next two days. After gathering the obsidian I needed for the gas farm, I started to gather all the other materials for the gas farm. After I finished gathering materials, it took me around four-ish days to make the gas farm. And on the very last day when I just basically finished it, I just afk for the rest of that day. And that's about it for the gas farm. Apparently the only thing I did on day 456 was just farm my sugarcane. I don't know why, but that's all I did for this day. This day, I was farming my crops. I guess I had two days in a row where I was just farming stuff. I think I AFK'd for a good amount of these last two days. I mean, that's why I didn't get much done. So I never mentioned this, but I made a beacon in the end, which you probably noticed if you're watching me farm the obsidian. I had haste on. I went ahead and went to go to just break that because I did not need a haste beacon in there anymore. And I was able to finish the beacon at the raid farm. So I just kind of did a few raids there. And the strength did help out quite a lot. I never really had to get close to death. I did have a few times where I was getting pretty close to almost dying, but obviously... I didn't die at all because I'm still making this video for a reason and I made it to day 600 for a reason because, you know, I didn't die. Those next five days, I was kind of all over the place. I The first three days, I was just getting a lot of gold in the nether. I didn't really have a reason to get this gold. I was just getting it because I wanted it. And the day after that, I went to my Wither Rose farm, or not my Wither Rose farm, but Wither Skeleton farm and got enough to kill a Wither, got a, you know, another beacon. And right after that, at the very end, I started to explore and I think I was trying to find a God Apple, but I don't think I was successful at finding one. For day 464 and 465, I was trying my absolute best to find a God Apple and believe it or not, but on day 465, I found two God Apples in the same Desert Temple. I was so confused, like I did not think that was possible. I knew it was possible, but I know that it was super rare and I just did not expect it. I was so happy when I did this. My face was just lit up with happiness. It was it was just ridiculous. But it did take me around a day to actually get back home. So day 466, I just had to go on the roof of the nether. It did take me a while to obviously get back home as I said, but I ended up getting back home in one piece. So we were good. For some reason, I was back to the end. I'm not sure if it had to do with getting shulker shells or getting dragon heads, maybe even both. I do not really know, but I was just in the end for two days and I did end up getting shulker shells and I did get a dragon head. I think that dragon head was meant to go in an item frame. I do not remember, but that's all I did for the next two days. On day 469, I was heading back from the end to get back home. It did take me a while to find an exit portal. And when I got home, obviously, there wasn't much I did for, for day 69. On day 470, there really wasn't much I did. There really isn't anything at all, so let's just move on to day 471. On day 471, I added an enchantment table next to my Enderman farm. And I did this because I think on day 472, I was trying to get a certain book, and I do not remember what it was. I think it had to do with my boots, like, because I traded out my netherite boots I had for another pair of boots, my diamond boots, because I was able to get a better pair of boots, but obviously that didn't really work out that well. So let's move on to day 473. I decided to just kill the inner dragon again because why not? And I think towards the end of the day, like 500, like uh, towards 600, I start to kill the Ender Dragon a lot because one of you guys told me that if I kill the Ender Dragon 12 times, which actually is not 12 times, I looked it up and it's 20 times, you will get a uh, like a ring of portals around the end island and it looks really cool and you can make like a circle and it, it yeah. But I killed the Ender Dragon this day, but the next day I went back to the end cities. I don't really know why. I was just kind of doing whatever I could to just pass the time because I was actually going to end off this video on day 500, 
when I said I extended it to 600 just because I wanted to keep playing Minecraft and I didn't feel like having to edit at that time but now I'm really motivated to edit this video so let's just move on to day 475 back to the end cities again don't know why I'm here I really do not know and after I get back from the end cities I am back to farming for two days yeah th this this is getting kind of repetitive and after I get past day 500, I start doing different things, so I won't have to keep repeating the same thing over and over. So, yeah. So, I was trying to get all the achievements before day 500, but for these two days, I was trying to get all the music discs, and that took a long time. I don't think I got the last music disc for a while, because it just wasn't giving it to me. For the next three days, I was trying to get a gas in the overworld and kill it so I can get that achievement. But, that was not working out so well because the gas just wouldn't go through. I did get the gas like in the portal sometimes, but it just would not go through. I don't know why. But later on, I actually do end up killing a gas in the overworld on accident because of my gas farm I made. So, that's all I do for these next five-ish days is getting a music disc and trying to get a gas in the overworld. I was going to make a new iron farm because the current iron farm I had was complete garbage. It did not give me any iron at all. And so I took two days to gather all the materials I needed for the iron farm I was the new one I was gonna make. And then after I got all the materials I needed for it, then after that it took me two more days to actually build it and you know complete it. So after building the iron farm, I didn't realize how hard it was gonna be to get all the villagers I needed. I needed 12 villagers, and it was the fact that I needed to get them in a very, very small area, and they were all underground. And this was so annoying. I did end up getting all the villagers I needed. It took me from day 486 to 494. And of course, I could have gotten this done earlier, but knowing me, I always mess up somehow. I, I just, I don't know how that happens. I always mess up a farm every time I build it, but I got this done. But this wasn't the only thing that I had to do. I also had to f fix the portal where the iron golems go in the nether because I messed up the portal link but I did fix it because somehow I just get so lucky in this world and somehow always fix the things that I need to fix I don't I don't know I'm just super lucky in this world but let's just move on to when I actually have to fix the portal linking so as I mentioned I had to do the portal linking and I had to fix it but I also forgot to mention that I still had to finish like the chamber where all the iron golems go when they die it took me from day 495 to 498 to you know do all that stuff to fix the portal linking i also had to extend like the ground under that portal where the iron golems go really far down it was really hard to do that because it was just a sh straight fall but i got everything done and when we move on to day 499 i kind of lost the footage for that uh day and i also lost footage for day 500 but i have the very end of 500 and since as i said multiple times that I was going to end this off on day 500. I didn't really do anything on this day. But this is all I have for day 500. It's just me kind of walking around not really doing anything. And let's just move on to day 501. On day 501, I was back to trying to get all the music discs. And this was a very tedious task. Because I just kept getting the same music disc all over and over again. But for day 502 and 503, I go to the nether to try to get the pig step. And... 502 I had no luck but 503 I finally got the pig step disc and I was just I was just so relieved when I got it I spent the next few days still trying to get that last music disc I needed I literally made a double chest just for music discs just you know to dispose of them and I almost got a full double chest before I got the last music disc but as I said I spent the next three days trying my best to get that last music disc and it just did not work out and then after that I spent three days, obviously, this is when I got rid of my crops and turned them into melons and pumpkins. So it took me around three days as well, just to turn them all into pumpkins and melons, because I actually bone mealed all of them. And then the very last day, I just decided just to trade with some villagers, because why not? So I wanted to make my nether portal room bigger, so I extended it on day 511. I just made it even on the other side of the portal, so now I have two sides to it. There wasn't really a point to doing this, it was just to make it bigger. I didn't really know how to like spice it up, make it look cool. I'm not sure if you guys have any ideas and tell me and I might try them and yeah. So during these days, I found out that I lost my trident. I don't know where my trident went. It was, it's just gone. I, I don't know. And I think I left out when I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. But on this day, I was AFKing at my John farm to try to get a trident back. 
And I just gave up on that. The drowns are taking way too long to spawn, and I just did not feel like AFKing for that long to waste the days away. But after giving up on the, the trident, trying to get another one, I decided to make a blaze farm, and it took me three days to make this blaze farm. This blaze farm was very annoying to make because I didn't know where to place the torches to prevent them from spawning. I was just, I just wanted to get it over with because I had a lot of uh, farms to build. Within this 500 to 600 days, I just had a lot of ideas, so that's why I kind of just started to go to 600 instead. But this farm was very efficient. I really liked it a lot. It gave me a lot of blaze powder, and I ended up filling all of my breathing stands up with 64 blaze powder each, which is nice. And on day 516, I just farmed my melons and pumpkins, and normally when I do that, I just go ahead and trade my villagers after that. I'm not sure why I was back to mining on day 517 i think i just wanted to get more ores and stuff i don't really know but that's all i did for this day at the end of day 518 i was starting to make a really really big pumpkin and melon farm because why not i see a lot of other people do it so i decided to just do it myself so i was back to trying to get all the music discs or the very last one i guess and for the next two days i had absolutely no luck this just i just could not get it but on day 521 i Finally got it at the very beginning of the day. I was so happy and I was just happy that I was done with having to get to music this and I didn't have to worry about it anymore. For these next two days, I was trying to find beehives because I was going to make a bee farm and I think I did find all the beehives I needed. I think I needed like nine total, which is quite a lot. It was pretty hard to find all of them I needed, but I did end up getting all of them. And then for the next two days after that, I... Decided to just extend that huge pumpkin and melon farm, bone me all of it, and that that took a long time to do. If you guys have ever watched my past Minecraft videos, you know that I made a wither skeleton farm. And I spent a lot of time placing slabs down. And I was back to placing slabs again because I really wanted an efficient wither skeleton farm. And so for the next few days, I just started placing slabs again. Then I realized how much I don't like doing this. So I just stopped after the third day. On day 529, I just farmed my pumpkins and melons and went ahead to go trade at my villagers. After that, on day 530, I was back to mining again. And I think I was doing this to uh, finish my item sorter because you need like a whole stack of that certain item for an item sorter to work. And I didn't have a stack of all the stuff I needed. So I was just mining for that. And on the very last day, I was back to bone mealing my huge pumpkin and melon farm. On well, day 532, I was back to gathering materials for my honey farm I was going to make. And it only took me around a day to get all the stuff I needed because it was a really small uh, honey farm. And then the next day, it only took me around a day to actually build it as well because it was really small. And this farm was really inefficient because it was very small. And you have to AFK in the end. And I really don't want to AFK in this world because... I want to keep going, get as much stuff done as I can, so this is not a boring video to watch. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I do for the next two days. Gather materials and actually build the farm. On day 534, I am just farming my pumpkins and melons like normal. And I just go back to trade my villagers. And for the next two days, I am gathering materials for a guardian farm. And on the day after that, at 537, I am going to the uh, temple or the, the ocean monument that I was going to build that and i just spent the day kind of just clearing it out getting all the other guardians out of there and then that was about it for these next four days let's move on to the day after 537 well so for day 538 and 539 i started to build the guardian farm but then after that on day 540 i had to actually get more glass because i did not have nearly enough glass for what i needed to do so i just kind of sat on day 540 just waiting for all my glass to smell and there was a lot of glass i just smelt so that's about it, about it. So we're on day 541. It takes me about the next four days to actually finish it because I messed up building it. As I said before, I always mess up somehow. I don't know how, but I did. And right when I finished it, like on day 545, I was noticing that it wasn't working correctly. And I think it had to do with, I accidentally messed up the soul sand in the water so it doesn't like, um, what's it called? Push the guardians up. I think I completely messed it up. So I didn't ever actually use this guardian farm. I didn't really build it to have resources. I kind of just built it just to have it. And I was kind of wasting time by doing this. But that's all I did for these next five days is obviously build it and just see if it works. And it ended up not working. Day 546, I was back in the mines. I really don't know why I was here. I, I think, again, it had to do with trying to get enough ores to make my auto items sort of work. I'm not sure, but that's really all I do for the end of this day. I don't really do anything towards the beginning of this day. I was going to build a magma cube farm. It's getting really repetitive saying me, I'm going to build something. 
but I don't know what else to say. But for these days, I am gathering materials for the magma cube farm. However, I lost the footage for the magma cube farm itself. The file corrupted, and I am sorry about this. I really wish I could have added it in, but sadly I couldn't. All I really could add in is that I got the materials for it. That's about it. So the days I lost was day 549 to 553, but for day 554, I was just trying to fix the magma cube farm because I actually didn't make it correctly, but I was able to fix it. And on the next day, I just kind of AFK'd there the entire day just to see how many magma cubes or magma balls it would give me. And it gave me a lot. It gave me, I think, like... 10 stacks it, it was just a really really efficient farm for day 556 and 557 i was just trying to get every colored sheep i can and you guys might notice if you pay attention i don't know if you will or not i end up forgetting the brown sheep and the rainbow sheep which the rainbow sheep isn't technically a, a colored sheep it's more or less just a, like a name tag thing an easter egg i guess but i do remember to get those at the uh towards a few more days later because my friend pointed it out. I was actually sh or screen sharing with my friend on Discord while I was doing this so he can give me ideas because I really didn't know what I was doing and you know, I talk a lot. Uh, but yeah, after that, I was uh, just kind of showing my friend my world because I like showing my friends my world. It just makes me feel good about myself. I know that might sound weird, but I just like doing that. That's what I did in day 558. God, I talk a lot. And that's about it for I do. That's about it for what I do in the next three days. Honestly, the only thing I really do on day 559 that is worth even saying is getting wood. I don't know what else I did these last few days. I was just kind of clueless. But then eventually, I actually start to do something that you guys might like to see. I don't know, but let's just move on to the next day. For day 560, I go ahead and build a hoglin farm. And the reason I made this is obvious, because I needed food. And this actually worked very well. Staying up there for like at least a full day, so full 20 minutes, it gives you like two stacks or three stacks. I don't know. It gives you a lot of pork chop. But then the day after that, I start to mine again because I still don't have enough items for all my item organizers or for my or item organizer. I don't know. A lot of words are going through my brain right now. But then the day after that, I start to gather jungle wood because I'm actually going to make my own village on the surface instead of having all my villagers down below. So as I said, I was going to make a village on the surface and not underground this time. It took me 20 days to make this village. It was from day 583, or no, no, 563 to 583, which was a long time. But I was really, really proud of this village. I got all the different types of wood, so I made eight different village houses. They were all different colored wood. And I also made a really big uh, place for the villagers to work at. The outside of it was made of iron blocks, which was uh, a lot of iron. But I am just really proud of this village. I never made something like this. I made it on my own. I didn't look up any ideas and I tend to be a very bad builder, but I was actually able to do this on my own. And I'm just really proud of this. And honestly, it may have taken me 20 days, but it's because I had to keep go getting the wood and the houses took a long time to bake. But that's about it. Let's just move on to day 584. After making the village, I kind of wanted to make like the village actually look nice. So I added paths. I added like the stairs leading up to the houses that, you know, need the stairs. And I just kind of made the terrain look a little bit better. Obviously could make it look a lot better, but I just wanted to just do it how I wanted at the moment. I might fix it later on, but who knows? Let's move on to day 585. Day 585, I just farmed my melons and pumpkins, and obviously I traded my villagers again because every time I farm them, I go straight to trading because it profits me a lot. The day after that, I start to mine because I still need the items, but I don't actually end up getting the items I need. I think I get everything except for the stack of lapis, and it was, I don't know why I was struggling so bad to find lapis. It was just really hard. And after that day, I went to my enderman farm to just repair all my tools because some of them were getting low and I just wanted to repair them just to, you know, have them all repaired. But day 588, I went back to my skeleton farm. Ooh, their skeleton farm. And I just wanted to get as many beacons as I can. And at the end, I ended up getting a total of three beacons because I'm going to make a mega beacon in the nether and in the end because why not? Just if I have the resources, I'm going to do it. Then the day after that, I go back to get more sand. And I don't remember why I needed all the sand. I think it might have been for glass because I made a bunch of end crystals, but I'm not sure because I was going to kill a bunch of the ender dragons, obviously to kill like 20 of them so I can get the ring of portals. And then right after that, I know it's getting kind of repetitive me saying right after that. I know a lot of the things I say in this video are repetitive, but if you made it to the end, that's cool. 
Uh, but I go back to mining again. Yeah, and then the both two two more days after that, I kill the Ender Dragon two more times because you know why not? All I really did on day five ninety three was put windows in the place where the villagers work. There was other things I did this day, but I've already did things like that in the previous days, and I really don't want to have to keep repeating myself, but. This day, I just put windows on the workplace for the villagers. So I guess all I did on day 594 was just kill another ender dragon, I guess. And the next two days after that, 595 and 596, I just AFK at my gas farm. That's it. And I just wanted to get a bunch of gunpowder for rockets. And I only ended up getting like two stacks of gunpowder, which was nice, I guess. But that was about it for I did, what I did for these next three days. Okay, it's the last four days. We're almost there. So day 597, I'm back to mining again but I do not get the stack of lapis I need. Day 598, I'm back to my wither skeleton farm again because I'm trying to get enough wither skeleton heads for three withers. And on day 599, I end up killing three withers. And on the very last day, I just spend that day fishing because why not? And that concludes us all the way to day 600. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, please like, comment, and subscribe. And Tell me if you guys want me to build anything. I might do 800 days next. I don't know. These videos take a long time for me to make. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And just in case you guys didn't know, I actually could stream. I can stream this. I'll put my link in the description to my Twitch. And if you guys just want to stop by, say hi whenever I'm streaming, then that'll be great. I also have my Discord in the description if you want to join that. It's not very active. I kind of just use it to get notifications for videos and streams. And that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for so much for watching again. And see you guys in the next video. Peace out.